KBRF. Newell will tip it off for Fergus Falls. There's no doubt about that. And we'll see who's in their circle for Bemidji. It's going to be Sam. Jake Sam, a 6'5 seed. Averages 13.5 a game. The ball is up. Tip. Newell wins the toss. And Erickson has it in the backcourt for Fergus Falls. Far side for Ness. Looked at the three with a head fake. Now Ness will come back out. Newell corner the free throw line. Down low. Retzlock. Retzlock has the bucket. It's 2-0 Fergus Falls to start things off. Across the timeline comes Paul Wingy. Averaging, uh, well, about 10 points a game. Far corner. Inside pass. Sander. Sander layup up and in. Sander's got two. It's 2-2 two -two on a Ryder Tail Telecom scoreboard. There's Erickson, far side. It goes to Ness again on the left wing. That's Retzloff down low. Left side layup shot, no good. And a foul. And they'll get Sand with a personal foul. That is his first personal. First team foul as well. Retzloff will get two free throws. First one is up and in. And they'll get one more. Otters lead it 3-2. Band is here, kind of exciting crowd tonight. And again, the free throw up and in. Wetzlaw hits them both. Free throw is ever so important. Wingy with the ball for Bemidji now across the timeline. Will work right side, far corner, shot by Fogelson. Rebound, Sand, shot blocked away by Newell. And out of play, it'll be white basketball, and it'll go to Bemidji. 4-2 is our score early on, 7-17 first quarter. And the Lumberjacks will inbound the basketball. Fogelson, Sander left side layup, one hand shot, no good. Retzloff tips the rebound, and it goes out of play, out of basketball. Sander tried to stop it from going out of bounds, but could not do it. Tippy toed the baseline, Ness on the inbounds, now to Newell. He'll bring the ball up, some pressure. On Erickson. Erickson has it now front court right side. Between the legs now. Ness reverse layup. Shot blocked. And a foul on the shot. We'll get Mike Fogelson with the personal foul. His first. Second team foul. And Brent Ness goes to the charity strike. We'll get two. Lumberjacks again have won 10 games in a row, including beating Staples and Moorhead in the past week to 10 days. Free throws up, no good. Lumberjacks averaging about 64 and a half points a game. Giving up about 62 and a half. So some pretty tight games this year for the Lumberjacks. That free throw is up and in. Three or four for the Otters now. They lead 5-2 and Wingy with a basketball right at the half court line. Works it across the timeline now. Right side it goes. Fogelson with a three. That's off the iron, no good. Tip there, Retzloff rebound. And he'll hold it up for Erickson in the backcourt. Here comes Erickson. Wing the legs across the timeline, working right side now. Top of the arc, down the lane, puts up an eight-footer. That's off the glass. And Erickson with a bucket now. 7-2 early lead for the Otters. And Wingy with a hop across the half-court mark. Works to the left-hand dribble now. Left side, three-point shot. Fogelson shot. That's off the iron short. Rebound fought for. The Otters come away. I believe that's Net Newell with a here comes Erickson. Baseball pass, far court. Ness, 10-footer, up off the rim, no good. Newell, big rebound left side. Look for the shot. Oh, well, maybe a travel there. Shot, no good. Rebound fought for, and that's going to be Sander who comes away for the Lumberjacks. Now Wingy, off the right-hand side. Wingy with the left-hand dribble now the free throw line. Works around the top of the arc. Far side for Sand. He's a big scorer for this team at 13 and a half points a game. Took a quick first step, and it is a travel. Turnover Bemidji. And the Otters will get the basketball with a five-point lead. Six minutes to go first quarter. Just underway. And Erickson will bring it up with no pressure. Otters, or any basketball team for that matter, wants to control the pace. Otters will work the left side. Looks like they've been sticking with that side for the most part tonight. That's Ness. Now right side comes Braxton for long range. 16 footer, nothing but the bottom half for Braxton. He had 23 last time these two teams played, led all scores. Bemidji a very balanced attack. That's Wingy working the right side now. Back out to Sander. Sander corner of the free throw. Almost lost it. Now he throws it out of bounds. Pass intended for Fairchild. And Fairchild, well, he didn't know it was coming. Paul Collin did not play in that first game. He's just coming to the basketball game. Mike Fogelson takes a seat. He's 0 for 3 in three-point attempts. 
as well. Here comes Erickson quickly into the front court now. Ness baseline left side. Layup up and in. So Ness has got three points tonight. 11 2. The Riders out to the big lead. They got ourselves a timeout early on. As Bemidji will call the timeout. And it will be a full timeout. We'll take one as well. A half minute break coming up. 5.18 to go. First quarter. Honors out by nine. With more after this half minute timeout. the shot. One shot and out is pretty much for them. The Otters out rebounding the Lumberjacks early on as well. 5-18 first quarter. And Wingy with a basketball. Erickson will pick him up right across the timeline now. Between the circles, they'll work left side. That's Fairchild. Retzloff on him. Fairchild works down low. Pass. Picked away. Blocked by Newell. They'll make that mess. Sand trying to go inside on the left-hand side and Ness knocked her out of play with a nice block. Now Colligan will work it inbounds. That's Fairchild from about 16. Fairchild hits it. That's his first two. 11 4 is our score, and Erickson with the basketball. Tries to control the pace with some quick pace, actually. Ness left side will bring it back out. Now Draxton, top of the key. That's going to be Newell. Newell might have taken a step. His shot, no good. Retzlaff on the board right side. He'll spin in the paint. Shot, no good. And now we got a traveling call and a turnover for Fergus Falls. Sand inbounds to Paul Winnie, 5'10", senior. Lots of seniors on this Bemidji team, much like the Otters. They work inside. Sander now puts up the one-hander. That's off no good. Retzlaff with a rebound. Justin's having a good game here. Braxton to work it down low to Ness, and it's tipped by Sand out of play. It'll be Otter basketball into their own basket. And Ness will inbounds out to Erickson. He'll pop for the tray. Got it. <laughs> Erickson had the finger up already. He knew it was going to happen. After he let it go, a 10 point lead for the Otters, biggest lead of the game. Ball's on the floor now. Wingy stolen away by Erickson, and a timeout by Tim Erickson. He got it before there was a travel. Nice play by Tim. It's a 20. And we will keep it here. That's an alert play. The Otters really on top of their game. I tell you, Justin Retzloff is really on top of his rebounding game here tonight. I don't usually keep rebounding stats, but uh, I tell you what, this kid's got what, three or four at least early on, and they've been pretty big rebounds. Good position by him. Retzloff still trying to as a basketball player here on this Otter team and trying to make a name for himself. Doing a good job so far this season. Erickson now, the Otters on a 10-point lead, 14 to 4. Erickson between the legs now, puts up the long alley oop for Newell. Newell catches the pass, puts the shot up and in. Newell wanted the alley oop, but boy, I tell you, that one was off by a little bit, a little mistimed by the Otters, but they well, converted the points anyway. Sander inside, traveling, and they'll go the other way. Then we got a foul here, I believe. Three with a charge. That's going to be Sander with a, a charge there. My mistake. Third team foul. First personal. And Newell will inbound now to Retzloff in the backboard. A little pressure. Erickson will try to break it. Across the timeline he goes. Works a left-hand dribble now. Left side. Down low. That's Ness. Give and go. Erickson with a prayer. That doesn't go. As he was, well, maybe hit as he was going up for the basket. Comes down near side now. That's going to be Colligan. Back out Fairchild for Bemidji. Down low. Tipped away. Ness, ball's loose on the floor, still loose in the backcourt, Fairchild, ball comes to Sander, it's still loose, Braxton picks it up, up ahead to Ness, that's going to be stolen away by Fairchild, back and forth, nobody wants the basketball, 3-16 to go in the first quarter, 16-4, Otters up by 12. Now it comes to the far side, that's a new kid in the basketball game, Brian Wilson now works the basketball, puts up a shot, blocked by Peter Braxton, and Erickson with the basketball. 
Otters really on top of their game tonight. Long shot, Retzloff three, that's off no good. Tipped there by Newell. Fairchild with a board for the Bemidji Lumberjacks. Court quickly, it comes, pass down low, tipped away. Another turnover, that's Draxton with a takeaway. And here comes Erickson across the timeline. Keep it up, guys. A lot of substitutions coming in here. That's Erickson. Face. Now, Draxton, Ness tries to drive right side, cut off there, gets past the pressure up the hill. Nice play by Ness, that's five points for him. Timeout for Midgey, we'll see what it is. It's a 20. 18 to four, honors out to the big lead. The 14 point edge, 226 and a It is a 20 timeout, so we will keep it here. The Otters just coming out uh, strong in this basketball game. There's no doubt about it. Say, so, just want to let you know that the fan in the stands coming up at halftime will ask, ask a trivia question for you. If you're listening in the stands right now, listen up, because we'll, uh, we'll give you the answer sometime in this first quarter, or maybe second quarter, but we'll give it to you. All you have to do is come down and answer my trivia question. We'll give you a two-liter bottle of Coca-Cola as well as a couple of batteries for your radio. And get you registered for our grand prize, our Coca-Cola fan in the stands, coming up at halftime. We're underway again, Fogelson with the basketball, now Sand spins in the paint, one-hander gets it to go off the finger roll. Two points for Sand, and it's 18 to seven now. 18 to six, my mistake, it's six. Scoreboard said seven, Titus Christensen in, Cassette now and Arneson, all three into the basketball game, foul coming up here on Fogelson of the Lumberjacks. That is his second and fourth team foul. Otters have yet to foul in this basketball game. And the Otters will inbound. They do. That's Newell down low. Right side layup. Up and in, but a travel before the shot. And we'll go the other way. 159 first quarter. It's been uh, pretty wild for Fergus Falls already. No huge plays, but just solid basketball. Wingy now between the circles. We'll go well, right, left. He doesn't know what he wants to do. They got, got a dish. That's going to be Sand. Sand now. That's going to be Wilson. Long shot. Three pointer for Wilson. 18 to nine now. Down to a nine point deficit for Bemidji. Arneson front court. Arneson drives left side. Dishes back to Ness. Got lost off of Wilson and out of play. It'll be out of basketball. The Otters have led by as many as 14 points in this basketball game. That's going to be Cassette. Now Ness, left side, spins in the paint. Power move up to the basket and in. Ness has got seven in this first quarter. It's 20 to 9, an 11 point lead. 117 first quarter. Wingy across the timeline now between the circles. He'll come. Far side for Sands. Sands a pretty big score. Tries to drive, cut off by Newell. Far side for Fairchild now. He'll look to go baseline to set right on him. Good defense by the Otters playing man to man. That's Wingy now. Pulls up from 16 off the front of the iron. Rebound fought for. That's Christensen who comes up with it now. Quickly, here comes Arneson. Right side layup. Got it. Oh, no, he missed it. Arjun going to go the other way. I thought he was going to get the foul called on him, but Arnie gets the, gets the charge. personal foul on Justin Arneson. Arnie went strong to the hoop. The call for the charge. Under a minute to play first quarter. Wingy now across the timeline. Sand now near side it comes to Fogelson. Back out to Wilson between the circles. Wilson far side. That's Sand again. Near side for Fogelson. Looked at the three but not going to take it. Now Wingy again. 32 seconds in the quarter. Far side, Sander now drives right side, spins in the paint, puts up the shot, up and in. Four points for him, down court quickly, Christensen left side, layup, up and in. Nice play there, here comes Wingy again for the Lumberjacks, the Otters up by 11. 11 seconds to go in the quarter. Six seconds to go. They gotta get something started. There's Wingy. Tries to drive, dishes off near side. Fogelson at the buzzer for three. Didn't get it. And that is how our first quarter will come to an end. 22 to 11. The honors out to the 11 point lead. They've led by as many as 14. We're back in one minute with our integrity computer systems. One around back.
Brought to us by Integrity Computer Systems. Brent Nestlin all scores with seven. The Otters 22 to 11 in our first quarter. Fairchild down low, got the bucket and the foul. So he'll get a free throw now as Bemidji is now pulled to within uh, nine points. Erickson with five, four for Retzloff, two apiece for Newell, Draxton, and Christensen. Otters go three of four from the charity stripe. That's our quarter wrap. Brought to us by Integrity Computer Systems, a system you can trust. Free throw goes up off the front of the rim, no good. Tipped in by Sander off the free throw. He's got six. Not a player to look at and go, wow, but he's got six points. 22-15 now. Bemidji, well, the closest they've been in a long time, had seven points. Arneson left side. Retzloff now had it tipped away, puts up a 10-footer, rings around, no good. Wilson with a rebound for the Lumberjacks. Draxton right on his tail. Here comes Wilson. They clear the lane for him. Left side layup, up and in. 22-17, here comes Cassette, lost the ball, fought for, that's Fairchild coming up with it now, it's loose, tipped away, Arneson with the basketball, that's going to be Draxton, left side, five-footer, that's short, rebound, fought for, that's Wilson, here comes Bemidji, two-on-one, far side it goes, Wingy tipped away, blocked by the Otters, and Christensen and out of play, it'll be Lumberjack basketball, wow, end-to-end -end activity here. so far, but the Otters lead of 14 dwindled now to just five. The Otters outscored now 6-0 in this, this second quarter. That's going to be Wilson. Three-pointer off the iron, no good. Position for Ness and a rebound for the Otters. That's Erickson quickly down court. Retzloff and he walks. Six fifty-five in our first half. Otters take on the lead now. Across the timeline is Fogelson. Far side Fairchild. That's for the long range one. That's no good. Rebound fought for, and it's going to go off for one of the uh, Lumberjacks. Otter basketball. Newell had position down low. Thought there might have been an over the back, but no call. And Newell inbounds. To Erickson. Erickson, a little bit of pressure there. He'll get past it now, left side with his speed. Working back between the legs now, back out to Draxton, cross court for Retzloff. Near corner, Erickson, quick tip pass by Newell, down far side for Ness now. Ness down low, can't get it to go in. Sand with a rebound for the Lumberjacks. Here comes Fogelson across the timeline, left side. Working between the circles, come back right now across the arc. That's going to be Fairchild. Dishing the ball off. Sand shot. No good. Rebound Ness. And he'll come away with the basketball. Erickson, the defense, will back off. That's Erickson. Far side, Retzlaw. Retzlaw. Left side. Will spin now. Inside the paint. Puts the shot up. No good. Newell rebound. Goes right side strong. He can't get it to go. Now it's a, it's a fight for the ball. It's Retzlaw for the shot. Newell with a shot. No good. Honors go 0 for 4 and they lose the ball in the rebound. Here comes Fogelson. Nobody scored now in a couple of minutes, or at least a minute and a half. And it's Sander between the circles. He's not a real good ball handler. Tries to drive, lost the ball. Out of play, it'll be well, Bemidji basketball. Touch last by Peter Draxton. Wingy and Colligan come back in for the Lumberjacks. As it'll be uh, Justin Arneson coming in for Justin Retzloff. 22-17, that's going to be uh, Fairchild. Back out to Colligan now between the circles for Wingy. Far side, Fairchild, three-pointer, that's off, no good. Rebound, Erickson. Here comes Fergus Falls. It's been one shot and out for Bemidji for the most part. Arneson for the long range, three, and he got it. Arneson's first points of the night, 24-17. If Arneson's hot, the Otters will no doubt be very hot. 5-13. Back to seven. In the legs goes Fogelson. Tries to drive right side. Shot. Hangs off the iron. Rebound put back and in by Colligan. 
And Erickson now, left side again. Pulls it back across the three-point arc between the circles for Draxton. Now Arneson pulls up the three, comes inside. 16-footer. He's got five now. 26-19. 444 in our first half. And that's Wingy. Near side it comes for Fairchild. Now Sander. He's got Sander. To the far side it goes. Wingy puts the shot up. Rings around no good. Sandin is there. Sander, I should say. That shot no good. But Fairchild will put it up and in. And the lead now cut back to five. Erickson front court. That's Draxton. Arneson back behind the back. Free throw line. Back to Erickson. They're winging around left side. And Ness is fouled on the drive. And they'll get Sander for the personal, his second. 16th foul. Second one for Fergus Falls. Or I should say Fergus Falls has two. Newell and Ness both come out for Christensen and Cassette. For the Otters, Braxton inbound, gets it way out top to Arneson. Quick lineup in there for Fergus Falls. Cassette with the basketball to Draxton, the biggest player on the floor right now for the Otters. Cassette double team. Got a spin free. Got to look for somebody. Gets it to Draxton just in time. Cassette now throws it away. Intended for Titus Christensen. And a turnover, Fergus Falls. 4-0-1, first half. Wingy with the basketball in the backcourt now. They'll come across the timeline. Working between the circles now. Look right side. Draxton anticipates. Sand with the basketball. Drives too strong. Tipped up in the air. Ball is loose. That's going to be Cassette with a rebound. Here come the honors in Erickson. Down court quickly. Christensen. Arneson. Back out Erickson. Three-pointer up and off. No good. Draxton with a rebound. He'll corral it for the honors. Tipped away and Sand comes up with it. Fogelson tipped it away. Here comes Wingy now. The Lumberjacks. They trail by five. 329 first half. Far side it goes. That's going to be Fogelson. Had his pocket picked. Ball is loose, Cotton with the basketball. Far side for Fogelson and back out between the circles. Now for Wingy. Wingy will back it off. Right side, tipped away by Cassette out of play. On it will be uh, Bemidji basketball. Raymond Geese will come in. Yes, and Newell back in as well. Braxton, Artist, or make that. Braxton, Cassette, and Erickson all come out. Colligan comes out for Bemidji as Fairchild comes in. As well as Wilson comes back in for the Lumberjacks. That's Sand far side. Wilson with the basketball. Sand on the right side. They'll kick it back out to Wingy to reset. 26-21 Otters lead it late in this second half. Now near side, Fairchild. Sander, Sander left side layup. Up and eight points of the night. Again, he's not going to look like a great player, but he's getting the ball in the hole. That's Geese with a 15-footer off. No good. Rebound comes down to Wingy. Here come the Lumberjacks to cut the lead, possibly tie. Here's Wingy driving down the paint, puts the shot up. He... We'll get a foul. Apparently, we'll get Geese with a personal foul. Thought there might have been a traveling call there. Kind of took that hop, but apparently fouled in in between. Third team foul for the Otters right now. Nobody in foul trouble on Fergus Ball. Well in Bond Fairchild on the left side. Back out top it comes to Fogelson. That's uh, Wilson with a shot up no good. Fairchild with a put back up and in. He's got six in the corner, eight in the game now. It's a one-point basketball game after an Otter 14-point lead. Arneson now back out between the circles for Geese. They're working to the near side. That's going to be Newell. Lost the ball, traveling. He went up and jammed it, but it traveled. the turnover as Bemidji has the basketball and a chance to take their first lead in the basketball game. That's Sand between the circles. Near side for Wilson. Back out between the circles. Fairchild now top of the arc. Sand. Down low. Sander. Layup up and in. Boy, they, they anticipate and go front side. Gets the ball. He just has to turn and put it up and in. It's a Bemidji lead by one now. That's going to be Artisan driving the lane. Puts it up and in. Artisan got it. Seven points in the quarter, Otters get the lead back. And Wingy with it. Seesaw battle from here on out, maybe. This side it comes for Wilson, back out to Fairchild, top of the arc. They'll try to get it inside. Sander lost the ball for a second, took a seat. That might have been traveling, but the no call there. Wingy now near the free throw line. 
<laughs> that sand and a give and go up and in. I almost said face off circle. Though. That's hockey on the brain. Lumberjacks with a one point lead. Back again. They've come back from 14 down. Far side, Geese. And this Sander goes hard out of play. Benner coming in and Colligan coming in for the Lumberjacks. Erickson back in for Brandon Geese. Ferguson do in for the Lumberjacks as well. And an official timeout. For some reason, one of the kids, uh, Brian Wilson, he might have got in the eye a little bit. Lost the contact. Uh, he'll be fine. Fogelson in, Ness in by the basketball for the Otters. They look to get this lead back. Ness way out top. Arneson got it. That's a 15-footer left side. Too strong. Rebound. Ness puts up strong there. That's on the right. New rebound. That's up for the foul. A hey, persistence pays off. The Otters did not give up on that basketball. Ness on his shot might have penetrated just a little bit too deep, but Newell with his rebound, Spenny with his back to the basket, got it up and in and got the foul. Wow, Fenner picks up the personal foul. Sander and Sand come back, Fenner out quickly. Colligan comes out as well. Here comes Braxton in. He'll come in for Titus Christensen. Now, who says basketball is not a chess match? It's all about matchups. And Newell will get his first free throw attempt of the night. He's got four points. Otters back out on top by two with a make there, 31-29. Wingy now across the timeline down to the one-minute mark, first uh, half. Wingy on the right side. Cross court Fogelson back to Wingy. Wingy now looked inside, but now goes far corner. Fairchild back out to Wingy. Looks near corner for Fogelson. Now they'll look inside, but back out it comes. Fogelson, nowhere to go with it with the three. We go cross court, Fairchild, long range there. That's up, off, no good. Rebound fought for, tipped there, Fogelson with the board. Here comes Wingy, 35 seconds first half. Wingy now, looked at the three, Draxton was in his face. We'll back it out, look for one shot here. They trail only by two. Wingy with it, there's no shot clock, don't worry about that. They can kill it right down to the zero mark if they want to. Cross court, Fogelson tipped away by Newell. Here he comes down court, one on two. He'll hold it up, and he traveled. And the traveling call, not appreciated by some Otter fans, as it is a turnover with 11 seconds to go. Now Will Wingy, near side it comes, that's Fogelson, five seconds, Wingy between the circles, three, two, puts up the shot at the buzzer, no good. 31-29 at the half. The Otters have the lead, but obviously the fans and coaching staff for Fergus Falls not happy with the final 30 seconds of that basketball game. And there we go at halftime. 31-29 on our Otter Tail Telecom Cellular 2000 scoreboard. Come back with our Integrity Computer Systems wrap for you. That's on the way in just about two minutes at uh, AM 1250 KBRF. Set for second half activity. Eight minutes on the clock. The Otters will get the basketball to start things off in half number two. And Erickson has it across the half court mark. That's Erickson. Working to the right to make that left side now. Inside the Ness almost tipped away. Pass down low and thrown out of play. That will be uh, Bermidji basketball. 
swinging across the timeline now. No score for him tonight. But he's been the, the point guard to get it done. Off the hands of Fairchild. Draxton takes it away. And now Erickson comes up court. They'll try to push it up. That's Wexlaw. Same time for the Otters. Draxton comes toward the hole. Puts the shot up no good. And here's Fairchild with the rebound. Here comes Wingy now. Top of the arc. Works left side. Puts it up to uh, Fogelson. Down low Sanders. Sanders lost the basketball. Otters taken away. That's Wexlaw with the turnover there. And Erickson comes up across the timeline for Fergus Falls. Now Wexlaw. The way ball is loose in the paint. Ferguson has it there for the Lumberjacks. And that's Wingy again. The near side for Fairchild. Down low, Sands. Sands spinning on Ness. Pushes off, and a foul should be called. Now they're called traveling. Sands kind of put the shoulder down and uh, and put it in the middle a little bit there. And not for the travel. Turnover for Midget. Across the timeline for Erickson between the legs now on the left side. Spinning, got to get the ball loose. He finally does to Ness. Ness with it. On the far side, tries to get it inside to Draxton. Tipped out of play. Is out of basketball. Or is it? No, it's white basketball. Bemidji. Lumberjacks have it. And Wingy with it now. Get across the half court mark. That's Erickson on the right side. And Sanders spinning. Back out to Wingy. Side for Fogelson. Now up to the arc. Comes near side now. Fairchild down low. Sander puts the one hander up. That's no good. Newell with a rebound. Here come the Otters quickly down court. Ness in the front court. 50 footer off the glass. Can't get it. Sander with a rebound. There comes Winger. Across the timeline it comes. Between the circles now for Sand. Sander. Boy, got past the pressure. Sander cleans up the junk and it's a tie ball game at 31. They've been fronting him all night. He's been getting through. He's had uncontested layups for about uh, eight of his 12 points tonight. Leads all scorers. Erickson in the front court now, left side. Erickson working. Newell drives up and in, but a really call. Newell called in a charge. Between the circles. All wingy far side, Fairchild. We'll back it off on the left side, now come right. That's Fogelson, tries to drive, dishes off, that's Fairchild. Layup on the left side, up and in. He's going to the Lumberjack League now, they've got the first four points of this second half. 5.15 to go, Erickson now goes left side, shot up, off, no good. Rebound picked up the backboard off of Ness's hands, and wingy has it. Wingy looked like he wanted to drive past Erickson, but Timmy cut him off. Now Fairchild, left side. Picks it back out to Wingy. A lot of sand in the near corner. Cross quarter goes to Fogelson. On her defense has been pretty tough. Sand down low, right side, one-hander. That's no good. Tipped away. Braxton comes up on the board. Otter's playing good position. Here comes Arneson into the basketball game at the next break. That's going to be next. Ness tries to drive down the paint. Got it for good. Point for Ness. Good move for him. Down right down the middle of the paint. Near side Fairchild. That's tipped away. Let's lock to the board. Here comes Erickson. Tied at 33 now. Near side Ness. Got past some pressure. Goes left side. Across the baseline. Sander takes it away from him. Gets it up to Wingy quickly. Here comes Wingy one on two. That's a layup up and off. No good. Five and five. Retzloff. Well, they know they will not. It will be a. There's no 33 in there for White. The ref called 33. There's no 33. Oh, number three. Okay. So Whitney called on the charge. There we go. I can understand that. A lot of threes on the board. It's confusing for me, you know. That's going to be Arneson. Arneson on the right side. Tries to go baseline. Cut off there. Boy, four Lumberjacks around him. Here comes Wilson. Wilson in the front court now, just into the game. Back out between the circles for Fairchild. Fairchild now. Works the near side. Pass down low. Wingy up and in. And make that right side. 
Kenny with the lumberjack lead now. 35-33. Newell down low. Ness spins in the paint. Gets a layup up and into the foul. Ness now with 11 points. Needs to make it 12. Make things odd on the scoreboard. Right now, 35-35. Both teams kind of trading baskets here, back and forth. Free throw is good. That is so fun tonight. Five or six from the charity stripe. Sand will come in here at the break. Sand comes out. And Paul Wingy. And then he's the guy that's going to touch the ball every time down the floor. They'll work at the top of the key. It's going to be Sand again. He'll back it back out. Wingy, our side for Wilson now. Tries to drive, kicks it out to Wingy. Wingy from 10, that's up and in. Wingy, four points tonight. One point, one for Jack Lee. Here comes Erickson quickly, right side. Comes back to the left side, works it near side for Arneson. Now Ness, left side layup, up, no good. Ness with his own rebound. Spins in the paint, and he got it. But a foul called, no shot. They'll get uh, Holligan into the basketball game for the Lumberjacks on the personal foul. Potter stand bound. That's going to be Newell. Way out top. Erickson quickly comes to Ness. He'll spin against pressure. Shot up and in. Ness. He's got a bunch of points in this third quarter, keeping the honors in this one, 38-37. Curtis falls with the lead. Whistle coming, and that is an offensive foul. They'll get Colligan for back-to-back -back fouls here. 14 fouls on the Lumberjacks. Just four total fouls in the game for Fergus Falls. Arneson will inbound to Erickson. Erickson across the timeline now. Fogelson on him. Works it to Draxton down low. Foul going to be called on Wilson. Should be his first. And Bemidji uh, up to five team fouls. By the way, this game can be seen on Peg Access Channel 8 in Fergus Falls and the cable system sometime real soon. Arneson, fadeaway jumper. That's tip. But Ness with a rebound. He's got a Ness is having a quarter for the night. Seven points make that uh, nine points for him. 16 total in the game. Otters have built now a three-point lead. Wilson near corner. Kick it back out. Colligan. Now Fogelson pulls up from 10. Off the glass, no good. Draxton tips it up in the air. Corrals the rebound. Now it's loose off some feet. And Dimitri basketball. Sander comes in. Super Sports Saturday tomorrow morning, 7.20 to uh, about 10 o'clock or so. Hillcrest basketball tomorrow on AM 12.50 or AM 10.20. KJ Oldies as well. That's Wilson. Sand, a one-handed spinner. And he got it. 40-39. Now Christensen, front court quickly, left side for Arneson. Behind the back he goes and gets it back down between the circles. Christensen with a three. He's had a great, great week of practice. And the last day of the game, Titus Christensen has the runners up by four. Their biggest lead in the second half. Wingy comes in. Fair child out for the Lumberjacks. Down to 152. Now Christensen will try again. Up no good. And it's going to be Sand with a rebound. As the Otters got another shot at it, the uh, inbounds pass got tipped out. That shot by Wilson, no good. Ness with a rebound, double team tipped, and he, I think he tipped it out of play. It's going to be Lumberjack basketball. Boy, if Christensen would have got that second one in a row like that, that really would have ignited things. Sand inbounds, that's Wilson. They'll swing it around from right to left now. Far side for Fogelson, dish to Sander. Sander, left side layup, got it. He's got 14 points in the game. 
And a two-point honor lead. Arnie behind the back now. Dishes off. That's Ness reverse layup. He can't get it to go. Now Draxton with a rebound. He'll put the sound shot up. That's no good. Newell tries to put it up. No good. Here comes Wilson. Wilson two on one. Distance in his back. And we got a, a whistle. Traveling call. Under basketball. Well, the fans start to get into this in a little bit. Having a little bit of fun. Christensen on Arneson back door. 107 third quarter. It's a two-point game. 43-41 on our Otter Tail Telcom Cellular 2000 scoreboard. Arneson doing a little dribbling clinic there. Now Ness near side. Christensen back to him. Back to Ness. Fronted by Sander. Christensen gets it off of Sander. Now to play again. And we'll get a whistle over to the Otter basketball. Fairchild and Collian coming in for Wilson and Sander. And the Otters will inbound at their own baseline. Way out top to Arneson. Cross court. Titus Christensen, Braxton now. Newell. Newell bumps into one guy. Ball tipped away. And here comes Fogelson. That's, that's going to be Fairchild. Right side layup. That's no good. Here comes Braxton with a rebound. Ness into the front court. Christensen got it tied up on his feet. Puts up a five-footer. That's off no good. Ness with a rebound. Ness puts it up. And no good. Ness got it back with a foul on the floor on Sam. And this is second. And Erickson will come back in. The difference in the game right now for the Fergus Falls Otters is their second and third efforts. They're staying with the ball. Not all falling. A lot of the times they're too far underneath the basket, but again, they're uh, continuing the effort. And that's that's really what it's all about. Otters to inbound. Ness now. Erickson quickly left side. Got it. Seven points in the game, and it's a four-point lead. Back once again. 45-41. <laughs> and that's uh, Colligan. Ness pushed him on the far side. 14 seconds. to Colligan on the inbounds. Arneson right on him. Now uh, Wingy to the far side it goes. That's going to be Fogelson. Five seconds to go. Fogelson. That's Wingy. Three-pointer at the buzzer. In and out. As the buzzer sounds. 41-45 after three quarters of play. Back with our integrity computer system. Quarter wrap in one minute. come up with 14 to the 12 and a turnover in half court it's Otter basketball Sander went to the floor and the ball kind of went off him and it's out of play Otter basketball again 16 in the game for Ness nine in that quarter that's Ness down low Retzloff left side layup no good rebound fought for Newell with a put back up for him he's got seven points in the game the Otters outscore Lumberjacks 14 to 12 in quarter number three that's our integrity computer systems quarter wrap. Fairchild faked the three. Now Sand spins one-hander. That's no good. Fought for it. Retzloff and the Newell both fought for it. The Newell finally comes up with it. Now Erickson front court. Near side Ness puts up a 10-footer. Off no good. That's short. Retzloff with a rebound. Up and in. Justin, Justin Retzloff. An honor seven-point lead. They want Gary Schuler wants the tempo up. Wants the excitement up. 
Timeout, 20 second timeout for Bemidji. Has the lead now at eight. 49-41 is our score in a Rider Tail Telcom. Cellular 2000 scoreboard. Riders come up with some good pressure and get the job done here, but this is the biggest lead it's been since early on in the basketball game. And again, the one thing Gary Schuler had talked about earlier on in the pregame show is home court intensity. He says, we're on our floor. And that means a lot for the kids, for the fans, to get them involved in the basketball game. So intensity means a lot. Into the backcourt it comes for Wingy. Shooter! Erickson right on him will go left side, fair shot. They'll cut him off. Screen set on the far side, bodies go flying. I believe that was Wilson who went uh, sprawling. Otter foul on Jackson, his uh, first, I believe. And Hillcrest boys basketball game apparently uh, just getting underway now. Maybe we'll get an update as they near halftime as, uh, as we complete things here in about, oh, 10, 15 minutes. Bemidji trying to inbound. They finally do to Sand, and they're working around the left side. Between the circles now, Wingy, far side it goes. Wilson, three-pointer, no good. Braxton with a rebound. Boy, you eyeballed that one all the way. That is going to be Erickson quickly right side. Erickson into the front court now. Between the legs goes far side. Sander anticipates and tips it out of play. Pass intended for Ness. Fogelson into the basketball game. The community College mid the in their game. They had a, a rim break apparently earlier on, so they're way behind out there in Mankato. And that game probably not underway until at least nine, maybe after on KJ Oldies AM 1020. Erickson free throw line dishes off Newell. Newell right side, nowhere to go. Now he finds room, puts it up, and no good. But a foul coming. I'll get Sand for his fourth or third. He's got two up there, but I believe it's his third. And free throws coming for Newell. He's got seven points in the game. Throw is up and in. The Otters have three fouls to give before the Lumberjacks shoot. The Otters are in the bonus right now. And uh, Newell gets another. That is up and in. The Otters so far tonight are seven free throw shooting tonight. They're up by 10 now. That's Wingy. Chance to really pull away. Far side thrown away by Wingy. Turnover. And the Otters, they capitalize here. Just kind of feel that the momentum has really shifted. Almost tipped away it is. Wingy puts it up and in. Well, nice deal in the backcourt now as the Otters kind of let one slip away there. 51-43 is an eight-point lead for the Otters. Here comes Erickson, front court now, left side. Stepped on the sideline, and out of play. Turnover, Fergus Falls. Hey, 51-43, Lumberjacks with the ball. Pressure by Erickson on wing in the backcourt. 6-10 to go in our fourth, and, well, fourth quarter, I'll say. In regulation time, how about that? That's Fairchild. Braxton on him, near side it comes for Wingy. Erickson should say the Otters playing a real tough man-to-man -to -man pressure now. Colligan goes in the paint for Sander. Sander turns around with that one hander. You hardly see that anymore. But they got the shot working for him. The Lumberjacks do that spinner and the one-handed kind of almost a hook shot. Newell in the paint, dishes off. He's got eight points in the game. Back to an eight-point lead for Fergus Falls. 5.32 in our fourth quarter on our Otter Tail Telecom scoreboard. Foul coming on the Lumberjacks. Away from the basketball. They'll get Fairchild with the personal foul. And a timeout for Bemidji. Is it a full timeout or a 20? It is a full, and we will take it. Uh, but a 60-second timeout, 53-45. Otters up by 8, 5.28 to go. Back with more in one minute at AM 12.50.
53-45 is our score. 5.28 to go in our fourth quarter. And uh, well, don't, don't count out the Lumberjacks quite yet. Otters need to keep up the pressure. They've been playing well in this fourth quarter. Got to give it to them there. Braxton to the free throw line for the bonus. One is up and in. Here's the key that we talked about earlier in the game. The Otters hit the free throws. They should win this basketball game. Ellen's up. That's off. Rebound though to Ness. He'll come down with it now. Work it back out top through Newell's hands. Make that Braxton's hands. Or right into Tim Erickson's hands. He'll spin right side now in the paint. Dish off to Newell. Oh, that's a nifty play by Erickson. Little no look pass to Newell. Newell, Newell was coming. Near side for Fogelson now in the front court quickly across the baseline. Works it back out between the circles for Wingy. Wingy drives layup, got it foul. He's got eight points in the half. And we'll go to the charity strike for the personal point key foul on the Otters. We'll get Erickson for the personal. Otters lead by nine. That one is up and in. So the conversion on the three-point play there by Wayne. Erickson in the backcourt. Now full-court pressure by the Lumberjacks. Quickly to Ness. Cross-court it goes. Retzloff right side layup up and in. Six in the corner for Justin Retzloff. Ten in the game. Ten-point lead for the Otters. That's Wingy front court. Fairchild now spins free of Draxton. Works it to Fogelson. Make that call again. And he lost the basketball right into the hands of Erickson. Quickly, Braxton comes down court. Long pass. That's stolen away by Fairchild. Here comes Fairchild, one on two. Fairchild spins in the lane past one guy. Blocked away by Erickson out of play. It's going to be Lumberjack basketball. Don't let him have any threes. No threes. You heard that, uh, Coach Schuller. Retzloff coming out, a good job by Justin Retzloff tonight, there's no doubt about it. Arneson will come in and his job not to allow the three-point attempt. Now Fogelson near side, Arneson was screened, three-pointer up and in. Fogelson got the three, that's his first points of the night. It's a, now a seven-point game for Fergus Falls, 58-51. Arneson behind the back, it comes. Near side puts up the long shot. He was fouled just after the shot. He Throw, and it is good. Fogelson will pick up number three. Arneson gets the bucket and one. Nine point lead for Fergus Walls. Arneson trying to answer the three of, of Bemidji. Uh, Coach Schuler is a fun one to watch. I enjoy watching games when he's coaching. is up, free throw off, no good. And Sand with a rebound, up comes Wingy now. 4.07 to go in our first, make that fourth quarter. Far side for the Lumberjacks. Three, Fairchild off, no good. Newell with a rebound, he's double teamed immediately. He dishes it off, that's gonna be Erickson. Front court quickly, here comes Erickson. Free throw line, he'll back it off, that's Newell. Newell almost took steps, that's Braxton spinning, double team, shot, that's no good. He might have been fouled, rebound comes down to Sander, that's tipped away. Arneson was there and a foul called on Wingy. Wingy was there on the defensive side, well actually set a screen. Arneson, Arneson was on the defensive side, make that and Wingy kind of ran into him. Coach Gary Grew, or Grewey, Got up and threw the coat. And off the timeout. As he, now he's going up the top to the official. And I believe it will be a full timeout. The way it looks, we'll take a 60-second timeout. Otters lead by nine. 3.43 to go. Back in one minute at AM 12.50. <laughs> no, Chris? Right. It's kind of comical here. It, it is. You should have seen this coach. He just whipped his coat. It's cool. Hey, it's close. It's real close. All right.
Fergus Falls now. Arneson and his free throw is up and in. And he'll get another. The 10 point lead, it goes off no good. Sand with a rebound. And here comes Wingy across the timeline. Sand, far side Fairchild. Fairchild pulls up at the free throw line now. Gets it to Sander on the far side, pushing all the way in. Finally a foul called. might have been a foul. It's a tough, tough thing to see down here. Arneson spins free of one guy, gets free of another. And now a guy kind of rides the back a little bit. They'll get a personal foul. They'll get, uh, let's see here, 23? Yeah. That's going to be Fogelson on the personal foul. I think he made 23. Arneson on the free throw again. That one is up and in. 11-point lead for Fergus Falls. 3.25 to go in our fourth quarter. Sand is out. And let's see. Wilson is in for the Lumberjacks. Arneson up and in with the free throw again. Schuler up shouting no threes, doesn't want the three-pointer shot for Bemidji. Falls for the pressure defense a little bit. Get out on the perimeter. There's a layup up, drive all the way down the lane. Wingy rebound Ness. Ball is tipped away. Fairchild comes up with it. And he'll throw it. That's the Sander. Sander is blocked there by Newell. And a foul going to be called on David Newell. And they'll get David Newell for the personal foul. 6351. And Sander. A little physical down there. Free throw is off. No good. Christensen will come in. That's Titus Christensen in for Peter Draxton. 310 in our fourth quarter. On his lead at 512. Led by as many as 14 in that first quarter. And trailed by as many as two. That's up and in. It finally does roll in for Sander. That's only the third, second, and third free throw of the evening. That's a long downcourt pass for Erickson. Ness near side. Shot no good, but a whistle. And a late whistle, but one called nonetheless. And they'll get Sander for the personal. Connors lead by 11. And Ness will get a chance at some free throws. He's got 16 points in the game. And that one is up and in. Braxton will come back in. Minus Christensen out with a smile. Connors can pull the lead to 13 with him. Free throw here. That one is up and in. Boy, nothing but the bottom of that for Brett Ness. 13-point lead now in Bemidji. We're working up against a little pressure from Tim Erickson. Three minutes to go. Wingy now. He's double-teamed Fairchild. Works it down low. Tip there out of bounds by Ness. Anticipating the pass to Sander. He went out of play. It's Bemidji basketball. Wingy works around right to left. Now far corner goes Fogelson, 15-footer. That's off no good. Otters are there. Two or three guys jumping for the rebound. Newell got it. Now Erickson needs some help in the backcourt. Now Newell, far court it goes, a far side. Arneson behind the back now. We'll look at near side. He is fouled by Wingy. After he worked the pass to Erickson, Wingy picks up number four. And a free throw. Got it. He should spend a lot of time with Charity Stripe in his fourth quarter. Four of six in the quarter. 13 points in the game. 
one is up and in as well. He's found the range. It's a 15-point lead for the Otters, their biggest of the game. Wingy with it now. Otters with the chance really to put the nail in the coffin here with the defense. That is Sand. Shot 15-footer and good. Eight points for him. Erickson. And some pressure. Erickson to the near side now. Still in the backcourt. Across the timeline. Cross court for Ness. They'll drive. Dish it off. That's Newell left side. Spins. One handed down. Newell again. He's had a big fourth quarter. Back to a 15 point lead. Wilson. Still in the backcourt. Now it comes to Wingy. Wingy puts up a 15 footer. Rings around. No good. Ness is there. Work it out to Arnes, and here comes Arnie down court, left side, all the way down, layup, no, no good. Rebound fought for, jump ball, tied up Wilson and Braxton. And uh, break it up nicely. And a turnover on the change of possession to the Otter basketball. And Gary Schuler wants the timeout. It's a 20, and we will keep it here. 147 to go in our basketball game. Otters lead by 15. Again, their biggest lead in the basketball game. Otter B squad came up against the tough Bemidji team tonight, 79-67. They lost. They were down by a lot of points, came back in it, and uh, lost by 12. It was tied 38 all at halftime. First quarter score over at the FFCC tonight. Ashby 14-9 over Hillcrest. A similar start to, uh, to last time in Ashby. Ashby played Hillcrest tough for the first half. Well, I think it was a one-point game, 31-30 at half. Hillcrest took it away in the second half. Ashby trying to change portion a little bit. Inbound pass to Newell. Newell with a pass. Ness left side. Shot no good. Fought for jump ball. Should be Lumberjack basketball this time around. 139 to go. Otters trying to break a 10-game winning streak by the Lumberjacks right now. Wingy far corner goes for Wilson. Wilson spinning in the paint, puts up up, dishes off to Sander, and it goes off to Sander out of play. Maybe last tip by Sander, it's Otter basketball. Action out. And Christensen in for the defense. Make up the offense. He's been hot. Arneson slips there on the inbounds, gets it to Erickson. Here comes Erickson across the timeline. 124. They're going to have to start to foul pretty quick here. Erickson double team, spinning around, works the pass near side to Arneson. Back out to Christensen. They've got free throw shooters in the game now. That's new. A little four quarter here. Christensen way out top, near side for Arneson. Arneson is fouled and bumped out of play. Free throws coming by Arneson. He'll get uh, Fairchild for his second. Arneson with free throws. What is up and in? Arnie missed two out of his first three, but hasn't missed since. Five in a row for him. Ness comes out. Erickson comes out. 16-point lead with 106. I think it's time to put some kids in that basketball game. Andy Larson comes in for Fergus Falls. The free throw is up and in. Newell comes out after a great game. Brandon Geese is in. Titus Christensen is in. Andy Larson, Dusty Cassette. Out there for Fergus Falls. Near side, that's going to be uh, Wilson for Bemidji. Wilson, 10-footer, that's off, no good. Tipped out, that's going to be Christensen with a rebound. Down court quickly to Arnes and left side. He'll drive left side layup. Oh, he's hacked and he went down hard. He'll bounce right back up, though. Arneson went to the old chest on the floor. Charlie Schoenhardt coming in, as well as Adam, Aaron Kirshner. Schoenhardt and Kirshner coming in. And Sand apparently is fouled out of this basketball game. Ryan Rich 
Fletcher will come in in his stead. And a lot of subs for both teams now. Arneson, a shot up and in. And all starters are out for Bemidji. They put the B squad in. Gary Schuler said it would take 70 points to win this game. Banner with a rebound now for Bemidji, and he'll dish it off. It's going to be Von Holt. For Bemidji, try to pick him up as we go near side. Long shot coming. That's off no good. Rebound comes down to Arneson now. Christensen in the front court. 32 seconds. Now it comes to Gee. Now Arneson. <laughs> Gee. Eric 